We here at the Bikers Inner Circle support Tommy Thompson for president. For more information, visit his website at www.teamtommy.org or www.tommy2008.com. With my friend Tony and Vicky Sanfilippo. As you can see by these nice shirts we have on, we're with Team Tommy. All right, now some of you probably know what that is already, and some of you don't. But some motorcycle people have decided that we need a president that rides a motorcycle, is interested in our issues, and the rest of that. Uh, Tony and Vicky are better friends with Tommy than I am. I am well aware of who he is because I've watched what he's done in Wisconsin during his four terms as governor. Now, what we're going to do is have a little party in Ames, Iowa. And that's kind of important to this whole deal because it's what they call a straw poll. With nothing better to do, ha, 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 we're going to have a party. And guess what? You're invited, okay? Now, we're still working on the details, but I can tell you it is in Ames, and it's going to be August 9th and 10th. 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th. That was almost right. Okay, that's why I want to give the microphone to them and fill you on the stuff that we're still working on. Tony? Yeah, well, as Rogue mentioned, uh, Tommy Thompson has been governor for 14 years in Wisconsin. He was in our state legislature before that. In fact, he was in the state legislature when we were fighting the helmet law in Wisconsin, and he's one of the guys that helped us through that battle and re repeal our helmet law in 78. He's been a friend of bikers ever since, uh, went on to become governor. After 14 years, he became uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services in Washington, D.C., um, served uh, for about a year, a little bit over a year there. And now he's in the private sector, still working on health issues, which means why should we vote for, for Tommy Thompson? Well, the obvious reasons because we're bikers are because he supports bikers. He rides a bike. He supports Harley Davidson. He started a, a governor's ride that's been going on, going to be the 14th year coming up. Uh, so he's, he's 100% uh, behind motorcycles and motorcycle rights. Uh, but there's other issues that are more important to people than motorcycles, and he covers those too. He has an actual plan for, for Iraq. He's got a plan with the, with the oil reserve over there. He's got a plan for health care. In fact, while he was uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services, he took one of the riders from uh, one of the governor's rides, a heart surgeon down in Dallas, Texas. He brought him over to Afghanistan and, and with a team of other doctors, and they actually uh, re redid the whole infrastructure of the medical system in, in uh, Afghanistan. It was about 40, day, 40 years outdated. And uh, so he knows the health care issues. He knows Social Security problems, uh, but he, he sees Medicare as a bigger problem for us right now than Social Security, and he has a plan for that. Um, he's a true biker, a true friend of bikers. Uh, he's a friend of Kirk Hartel Willard, the uh, president of the Motorcycle Riders Foundation. Uh, and Kirk's ridden with him, and Kirk can attest to, to Tommy. And uh, I'll let Vicky talk. Vicky's uh, been involved in arranging and coordinating some of the last uh, three governor's rides. I could probably talk a little bit more to how you get more information about what's happening with Tommy. Um, you can go to our website, teamtommy.org, and you can get more information about what's happening. We'll update the website as we have more information about the party as well. But uh, even though we're going to have a party so we all have something fun to do while we're there, this is really about one of our own, you know, really about supporting somebody who um, isn't just a biker, but, you know, what Tommy says is, is why not bikers? He said bikers are the ones who just typify what America is all about. You know, we're patriotic. We um, are no nonsense. We believe in just getting things done, and that's that's what he's about too. He wants to get rid of some of the bureaucracy, some of the crap that's going around, and and um, you know, let's come up with solutions and what's getting in our way of making things happen. He knows that things are messed up and wants to do something about it, and that's why he wants to be president of the United States and um, being vice president isn't good enough for him. He says he doesn't want his hands tied. He has great ideas and thinks he can make a difference. So I um, hope you can come and support him over in Ames, Iowa on the 10th and 11th of August. Uh, we're going to try to get thousands of people there, and not just Iowa bikers, but anybody who'd like to support his cause. All the national media that is anybody is going to be there. So we want to show our support for Tommy. Hope to see you there. Okay, she forgot one thing. 
Fifty and I have both ended up with a book called Power to the People. Except she already got to start reading hers. So it, uh, maybe she'll fill you in on a couple of lines with that and uh, tell you where you can get them. And it tells you a lot more about this man. When I met him, I asked him if he was going to continue <clears throat> when he became president. He sort of looked at me like, you know something I don't know? Uh, maybe. But uh, I asked him if he was going to continue the policies that he's had in Wisconsin because I really liked them. And he told me yes. And that was enough for me to get involved. So what I did was I went and got this book he wrote, trying to find out a little more about him. And I promised to read it right after Bike Week. But Vicki got a chance to read some of it already, so maybe she can tell you about it and where to get it. When Tommy says power to the people, he's really talking about, he says, all the common sense things that need to be done that the people can tell you about. He said that so much of the power of what's happening in the United States has been taken away from the people and moved to Washington, D.C., and that's not the way it was meant to be. Uh, we, if you sit down and have an everyday conversation with any one of us, we can sit down and we can tell you that we should have things like truth and sentencing. If somebody is sentenced for a crime, we should tell the truth. We should say, you deserve nine months in jail, and you should serve nine months in jail. Sorry. You know, why Why you have all this goofy stuff? We're going to give you two years so you serve nine months. You know, he, that's, that's that kind of weird stuff. And he, he went for a welfare reform where he did welfare to work, and you know, he said, why, why are we supporting people not working? Let's support people working. And came up with some common sense solutions for that. So a lot of the details about how he came up with the these types of, of um, programs are in his book, Power to the People. You can uh, get it from Harper and Collins, I believe, is the uh, people who you can look for. And um, we've got some quotes from that book that will be on the website as well by next week. So if you want to see a little bit. I think, I think the thing that, that really sets the tone and tells you who Tommy Thompson is and it's, and it's referred to in his book many times is the sovereignty of the states. He believes in state sovereignty. And with him as president, we have a man that we could talk to, an actual person that we could talk to about our issues. And he believes taking the federal government out of issues that should be states' decisions. And that's how, if you know, know the history of the helmet defeats, that's how we got rid of the helmet laws, uh, was getting the federal government off our backs uh, and blackmailing the states. Once that happened, 29 or 30 states that same year repeal their helmet law. Tommy believes and these are issues that should be left up to the states and I think if it was in the states arena and not with the federal government or NHTSA or EPA or all these other bureaucratic agencies stick, sticking their nose into it, a lot of other states would be free. Yeah!